my name is Kat Torres and welcome to week nine of Charger Comment. I'm joined here by head coach Keith Otterbein and today we're going to talk about the game last week against Grand Valley and look ahead to the game against Northern Michigan on Saturday. Coach, welcome. Thanks to be here. So tough loss to the Lakers at home last week. Where do you feel the game turned? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Our kids played really hard and uh, you know probably the big plays uh, that Grand Valley was able to to have in the fourth quarter uh, was probably the the pivotal point. Um, we had a double move that went for a big touchdown that really, you know, kind of separated the game. Um, you know, throughout the game, there's always opportunities that change the momentum of a game, and and whether it was missed opportunities by us or or big plays for them, um, you know, throughout the course of the game things could be different as it came down to it. But uh, I guess the bottom line in the, in the fourth quarter, uh, didn't get off the field and, and gave up too many big plays, didn't stay on the field with our offense. What sort of positives came out of this game? Well, I think we really played hard. I think we really did a nice job in preparation. Um, I think both sides of the ball put together a really good game plan, um, executed it well in, in all three phases of the game. Um, our kids played hard, they were emotionally invested, um, showed a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm, um, kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, uh, with a very, very well-coached, good football team, and um, so that, you know, they could take away that preparation that allowed them to play well. Uh, at the same time, you know, we did come up short. Our, our goal and objective each weekend is to win and, and came up short of that. So uh, we identified the mistakes from Saturday, correct them, and move on and, and get ready to play Northern. So what sort of individual performances stood out to you the most? Uh, it, you know, we had 31 first downs on offense. That's pretty good. So we had a good mix of, of the run and the pass. Um, and even with the productivity that we had there, we had a few drop balls. Um, I thought we really rallied well uh, to the ball on defense. Um, and I think special teams wise, we played with a real, uh, a bunch of energy, uh, a lot of passion, a lot of emotion that, that flew around and um, kind of helped us in that phase of it. Taking that energy on to Northern, what sort of challenges do you face traveling to the UP? Well, Northern's one of those teams that play really well at home. You know, in the dome, it's a little different. Um, we're addressing a little bit of the. It gets a little bit loud there. You know, not um, not similar to any other situation that we play all year. So uh, we're piping music into practice just to have to deal with a little bit louder, a little bit more noise, uh, be a little bit more vocal, um, and use our hand signals to communicate on the field. Um, you know, the fact that it's a long trip makes a difference. Uh, we typically will go uh, leave first thing in the morning Friday, get up to the UP, whichever UP school we've been playing, we get there, uh, go on the field and have a practice to kind of break a sweat, uh, get used to the environment a little bit, but more than anything, try to get that bus ride out of us so that we're prepared and ready to go the next day. What sort of characteristics define this Northern team? Uh, they're very aggressive. Um, they're a very athletic. They, um, they run extremely well, just on both sides of the ball and, and special teams, just uh, really fly around and, and um, run re really well. Well, thank you so much, Coach. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.